Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Virstania, the mother of gargoyles. And we've actually started to create gargoyles now, so now we just need Gangrel, Nosferatu and Semiche so we can keep making them. But we also expanded a bunch and we're just four counties away from forming Poland, so soon we'll be a queen! But I've given out a bunch of titles in between episodes, but we still have Saris. Because it used to be our capital, so I figured I'm gonna give it to our first created son. And I, don't, I didn't want to do it off screen, so here we go. You there, you can have Saris. I know you've got your eye on it for a long time, but now you can have it. That's where we started in this humble little beginning, and we've grown a little bit since then. But um, we're gonna conquer this guy as well, because I don't think we have a truce with him anymore. And funny thing about this guy, <laughs> last time we fought him, we kidnapped his son, converted him to our religion, uh, recruited him to our court and gave him some land. And now, to add insult to injury, we're just gonna conquer his last, co last county. Oh! <laughs> and we can actually... I think this is... Uh, I think this is the sun. So we can actually use his claim. <laughs> or... Or maybe not. That is a lot of prestige. So I think maybe we are just gonna hold a war for that county actually. And I think that's gonna be fine. We are pretty low on people though, although half of that is uh, levies, but we're gonna have to start making more more uh, stone babies, but we do have the option to do so, so we're just gonna do that right away. Oh, and our masquerade is very, well, our, our exposure is very high, so I think we're just gonna, a little bit quick. Cover up our masquerade, and we're gonna do it with magic because it's uh, it's what we're best at. So let's just cover up masquerade. Very good. And oh right, we need to actually tell them to raise the entire army here. Um, I don't think we'll need you because you're a bit away. So oh come on, group up faster, you bastards. But we're just gonna go and bop these. It shouldn't be a problem unless he starts running away and we have to chase him all over everywhere, but it seems like we're fine. <laughs> Come on, capture someone. Yes. Ah, uh, he's a boring old human, which he's a flexible leader, but yeah, I don't think we care about him, which sucks. I wanted a gangrel or Smichi or something so we could make a another gargoyle. But oh god, we have a lot of them. I wish you could merge them. Because we have a long <laughs> list of gargoyles. And uh, it's getting a little bit silly long. So it would have been nice if we could merge them. But oh well. We're just going to disband these. Because we don't need them to take attrition and stuff. And now we're just going to siege. Oh. Um, before we start the next war. We should remember to create uh, siege equipment. Because we are sieging so slowly. <laughs> There is something odd about my vassal Baron Eustachy, or Eustachy, but I cannot quite put my finger on it. Perhaps it's just my imagination run running amok. Nevertheless, that ominous feeling is keeping me up at night. I will look into it immediately. Or we can just slam open his door and demand that he tell me it's something. Nah, just do it sneakily. We're good at that. Oh, crap! Our hookup... Mmm, crap. I was going to use that to modify our... Ah, I forgot I was going to do that. Ah, crap. During my investigation, I, am, I have uncovered an irrefutable proof that Baron Eustachy is guilty. He feeds on a particular fam... Who cares? He's a vampire. He feeds on people. Whatever. Oh, speaking of feeding. We're not going to feed, but I just need to look. If we do have a Tsumiche still. And... Oh, yeah. <laughs> We uh, imprisoned our bastard of a uh, of a ghoul that tried to kill one of my gargoyles. And honestly, we've had him since he was like 30. So we've had him for 50 years. And he still haven't produced any kids for us. And apparently part, part of that is because he's unlanded and unlanded people apparently have a harder time making babies. But... 
I feel like they should have a bigger chance of making babies because they have more time to do stuff. But that's uh, that's not the issue. I think we're gonna get rid of him because uh, I'm pretty sure that that uh, our limit of uh, of of ghouls is uh, like four because I looked it up and the number of ghouls we can have is uh, based on stewardship and it's like three plus every eight of stewardship so I think we might just drink him so sorry dude but I think we're gonna drink ya it's gonna cost us a little oh sanguine okay you know what we're not gonna do that I have to pay piety for this too that doesn't make any sense. He's our ghoul. We should be able to do whatever we want with him. And it's an act of tyranny. What? Why? Oh, well, it's just for opinion. Whatever. Let's be a tyrant. I'm gonna drink him. It's gonna cost the same anyway. Very good. And you. I'm gonna hunt you. Because uh, you're not used to me. But... Since we had have some spots open now, because we killed one and we're gonna drink the other one, we can just uh, go out and find some more mortals. And we have a lot of prestige, so I think we're just gonna go find some warriors. And uh, I'm, uh, I think I'm going to like herdify these people because they are healthy. They are gonna live for a long time. So we're gonna see if we can just, uh, if they have the, the right kind of blood flavor, then uh, we're just gonna add them to our herd. And any of these guys have any good? No. Boo. Nothing. Okay. Yes, let them go then. Do we have anyone in our court that's any good? Any human guests? Doesn't seem like it. You're a fecund. Oh, but you're 45. Oh, and we already married you off to one of our ghouls. Oh, and you have a kid. A mortal. Oh, disappointment. And <laughs> apparently uh, we fought a battle. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Uh, we killed all of his guys and we killed all of his guys. <laughs> Perfect. Wait. We... We imprisoned the the leader of that army and that was a you use mortals to lead your armies that's that's just kind of embarrassing for you okay oh oh actually also i forgot to start fixing control over here because this is gonna make us a lot of money once we fix that and why aren't these oh this is just because control and this is oh we need to have greater or equal to 10 Oh, it's not 10 anymore? Huh. Okay. Um, I guess we might have to exchange this building for something else then. Because I don't think we're going to do much work to increase development. It is growing a little bit, but it's going to take a while. So we might just uh, build something else in there. But we can wait on that. There's no... What the... Sh who the heck are you? And why are you sieging my land? You are... Oh, you stupid fuck. <laughs> what is your problem? Okay. Um, so, Magister Daniel, the idiot, uh, attacked a superior foe. And now he's getting his ass kicked. You stupid idiot. Oh, well. I don't think it's going to affect me because, uh, well, he's not going to lose land in the, in offensive wars, which is good. It's not uh, EU4 uh, peace agreements here. But we don't care about this. Yeah, so this is fine. He's just an idiot. So who do we give this to? Oh, we have a granddaughter. Who? Oh, it's... Uh, Alexander Nevsky. Well, would you like a title? Leshushka. There you go. 
You can have Lashishka. Very nice. Well, a siege. We got additional taxes. Ooh, very nice. We have a lot of money, but I kind of want to keep that until we have or until we take this. Because then we're going to create a bunch of titles and that's going to cost us a lot of money. But we're going to have more prestige than we know what to do with. So I guess. Oh, actually, also, I'm going to lash out. Oh, actually, I keep saying actually, before we lash out, we might want to try to do some blood sorcery. Because we might want to center ourselves. Oh, that's stress gain. Mm, I thought it was stress loss. But we are having a bit of a stress problem, so I think we're gonna do a little bit of centering. Because we haven't used these yet, and aware is kind of... Yeah, that I don't care about aware and perfect clarity is... Oh yeah, buff to everything, but it's just for three years. And it won't get a negative, metal, negative mental trait, which this might too, but it's just 8%. What are the odds? And hey, we got center too. I was gonna say, like, what are the odds, but... I was, I felt it that we were gonna botch that, but we get center two, we're gonna gain a lot less stress for f three years, so that's nice. And we're gonna lash out. Hey you! As soon as all vassals are rested, Baron Cornelius starts talking, I smile awkwardly. Baron Cornelius, sorry to interrupt, but were you always such a two-faced boar? <laughs> and you? Baroness Alexia, were you born a doxy or did that, did that develop later in life? <laughs> uh, it's fun be it's, it's yelling at people. And we can ransom some people, but I don't think I don't think that's someone I want to ransom because oh actually you're a human. Yeah, sure, you can have your sip come back. Actually I was think I was ransoming her to herself. But we only have the Tsumichi. Womp womp. But we are gonna go and drink one of our ghouls. Because you were a human, right? Yes, good. I was a little bit worried that you weren't. Oh. So, how long is our truce with you? Until 1282. Okay, four years. Okay. So, I guess we're just chilling for four years. And shh, mother is here. Make more, more not ghouls, gargoyles, because uh, we're gonna need more gargoyles to fight these guys, because they're actually, they actually got some strong allies. I was gonna say they're actually pretty strong, but no, they're not. They have some strong allies, though, and uh, I wanna have tip-top shape on my gargoyles, so we're gonna just keep making them. Although, we, no, we can't hold Mystic Communion. I thought we, this was getting time to do a Mystic, Mystical Communion. Because uh, I would like that stress fix, but I think we're gonna just use our piety for stone children and then just overwhelm Polania with gargoyles. You track your prey, you take the first bite and she succumbs to the kiss. How much will you drink? This is our ghoul. Oh, she's melancholic. Oh, well that changes things. I'm gonna hurtify you instead. Because we just finished. No, that's uh, that's gonna abandon it. But I guess uh, just pin you. Take a little bit of a sip. You are right. You're also a ghoul. So let's have a look at our herd. Oh right, we never <laughs> we never actually ghoulified her. Uh, we are gonna oh herdify you. Oh, this is actually the guy. But we don't need you pinned. We don't need you pinned. I'm gonna just manage you from the herd. And you are... Melancholic. Perfect. Yes. So, you are gonna get drunk. And let's go back to you. And let's go back to your wife. Because uh, she's gonna live for another 200 yearish. So, let's uh, hurtify you as well. See if you uh, if you taste any good. And is there anyone I'm not drinking now? I don't think so. Wait, no, wait. You. You're not her. You're... 
<laughs> you're another ghoul. I thought this was the Revenant, but no, no, no. She's she's not my minion. So I'm uh, I can't hurtify you, no. But I can hunt you to see what kind of blood you have. And I want to find some mortals. And let's go with warriors and see if we can get some healthy traits. Come on, give me some good mortals. Garbage, garbage. Blood fountain. <laughs> She's a bleeder. <laughs> we can make a uh, a line of ghouls with bleeder. I mean, it's not going to make any difference when we drink them, but <laughs> it's funny. Uh, none of them have any damn traits. I want traits. God dang it. Okay, what we could do is grab one of the young strapping men, ghoulify them, and then just... Uh, Marrying them off to women with traits. Worst case, we can always kill them. So that's fine. So let's coolify you. Very good. And uh, let's leave the others be. Wait. Uh, did I not? Yeah, we did start ghouling. But it seems that interrupted my herdification. My beloved father, it has not escaped my notice that my father, court chaplain Brunavog, is a very good-looking man. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Get a grip, you bastard. <laughs> None of that here. Okay, so we can hold the Mystic Communion, but yeah, I think we're gonna hold off and just make gargoyles instead. We can do this once we've uh, taken Polandia. Blood. So, what's her... Ah, oh, she's a queen. Eh, let her go. That's fine. And let's... Uh... Oh, I thought we would get to know the... Oh, I, I guess, no, that's uh, that's when you create vampires. Then you give them your... You train them and give them your blood. This is just giving them blood. Right, 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 right. But we are going to ghoulify you. That is fine. And we are going to find you a spouse. That is a very intelligent 13-year-old. So let's uh, see if they can find anyone a little bit old. No, okay. So it's either a 13-year-old or a 33-year-old. So I'm gonna... We're just gonna go with the 13-year-old. I don't like it, but it's fine. I don't actually think it's that big a deal. It's just a game, but... It's just a little bit weird. Metal break. Imposter. And I think we're just gonna keep uh, lashing out at people. This is fine. Recently, I feel like I'm not worthy of the Duchy of... Uh, stop whining, you, you whiner. Don't worry about it. You're doing fine. I've studied the, the Dacian vulgar language for many moons. I personally penned this missive using the Dacian vulgar script. Is that really our language? Dacian? I don't even know what that is. Who speaks Dacian? I never heard of that language. But a letter of friendship from a speaker of Magyar. Is it from Magyar? <laughs> I don't know. But this is our friend. So we can get a bunch of prestige and just mock him. Or we can... Uh, or we can just uh, send a letter and tell him how cool he is for learning Dacian. Let's just... Uh, I don't think there's any point in this. I mean, we can get a bunch of prestige, and this is the obvious choice, because we'll still be at 100. But I feel bad mocking him for learning a language. So we're just gonna be friendly. We're just gonna do that role-playing. And... Oh, okay. I thought it was crashing for a second. We're fine. Um, I don't even remember what I was checking. But, oh! Send a gift. Oh, right. Um, since he learned a language, I figured maybe we want to learn the language. Oh, he wants to give us money. I accept your gift. Good friend. He is a little bit mad that he's not on council, but... He is still positive on us, so that's, that's great. But I think... Yeah, we can learn High German. Because I remember seeing some uh, teacher in there. So... At the last sir 
At last, the search of high German linguists has come to fruition. The candidates have been pre presented in front of me, each of them carrying their own expertise in foreign languages. So, Aignolf is a renowned high German linguist. That sounds like a pretty good person to have then. And Rizzo will do the job. He's 10 learning and he's got 11 learning, but he is a scholar and he isn't. But he's a mastermind philosopher. But, I mean, let's just go with the more expensive guy. He's better. And we got the money, so that's fine. And just hold, yeah, that's fine. So we're just gonna let some time pass again. Oh, um, we should find some mortals again. Oh, and manipulate. No, nope, he's still on the loop, the only one. So we're gonna find some more mortals. We're gonna keep going with warriors. Not necessarily for a ghoul. If we can find a ghoul, that would be great. But no one has any goddamn traits. So we're just gonna pick someone young, like you. Add you to the herd. And these all look the same. <laughs> Did we just find some brothers or something? Uh, well, we're gonna grab him and hunt him. And possibly put him in the herd once we find out what kind of, uh, kind of blood he got. And if he got sad tasting blood, which I always assume melancholic blood is, it's just it tastes sad. <laughs> so, let's just make all of them. Keep making gargoyles. We got so many. <laughs> what happens when this uh, just goes... Does it just go down the window and you just can't see how many levels and champions I got? Maybe. King Wenzel Rickard has become a constant scourge upon my life. The spineless man plays meek, only to turn around and stab me in the back at every opportunity. Curse you, Wenzel Rickard. Are you bastard? You're making me stressed. You're stressing me out, you bastard. So, what do you got? Oh, melancholic. Perfect. So, we're gonna pin ya. And we're just gonna take a little, a little teeny tiny sip. And... Yeah, we already pinned that guy, so another sheep to the herd. Oh, stop. You are gonna also go in the herd. But we are gonna go to manipulate herd. You have melancholic, perfect. So we're just gonna add him. And uh, we're gonna add him and that's, um, I think I'm good with three for now. Hey, faction created against me. How dare you? It's uh, an inquisition, so yeah, that happens. But I'm not too worried, because they're usually incredibly, incredibly weak. No, oh, crap! I hit the wrong one! I only made a hundred. Duh. Shit. Oh, well, that's fine. Another sheep, join, sheep joins my herd, and we are gonna manipulate it. Because I do wanna drink regularly. So we can get a little bit each month. So this is gonna go much faster instead of the 10 per month. We're gonna probably almost double that. And how's our... No, that's that's not me. We have a 12th of September, 1282. Oh, so nine day days then. Perfect. Let's go. <laughs> so it's time he dies and uh, we just need to win this war. And we can create a kingdom of Poland. And a bunch of duchies. So, declare war. We are gonna move uh, this banner right over there. And we can't make any more babies, but that's fine. We're gonna raise everybody here. Oh, crap! No, I never... Mm. Oh, why is it... Okay, why is it lagging so much? It's freaking me out. <laughs> Uh, we need mangonels to so create and I'm gonna uh, create another one right away make two of those Because that way we can raise all of them there and there should be ten And I don't think we necessarily need two groups of mangonels, but it doesn't hurt either 
betroth betroth can oh very good send proposal make them make them marry very nice let's send you let's send you down there or just send you over there that's fine you oh you're an ally okay go down get back down we're gonna we're gonna kill these guys I mean, they're walking through all, all of our stuff, and they're taking lots of attrition from that while we're just sieging. So, I guess uh, just go in the proximity here. This should be fine. Go over to that one. And I guess we can siege that one at the same time. And are they being sneaky? They Okay. Some bastard is taking this opportunity to raid us, which I'm not a fan of. Create some more. Make all of them this time. And uh, let's disband them. Because we can always uh, re-up them over there if we need to. Oh, who are you? Are you... Are you an enemy? <laughs> uh, Jakub saw Magist Magistrix Veleslava violate the silence of blood. Revealing Veleslava as a vampire, the masquerade has been breached. What shall be done with Jakub? Well, he does, he does know too much, or he do know too much, so we can trick him. Perhaps, maybe. What kind of uh, flavor you got there? It doesn't say? No. Boo. So, we can just kill him. It's a 25% chance of masquerade exposure decrease, which is very nice. If we do ignore it, he gains stress and 25% chance exposure will increase. So kill him. That's fine. Breach of the masquerade. So, oh, it's our granddaughter. I guess slap on the wrist and uh, get a weak hook. That's fine. We could demand a blood bond now in the vessel contract, I think, but... Eh. Let's uh, let's leave her be. It's fine. All right. Was the those weren't uh, enemies, right? Oh crap. That's okay. We're sieging two at the time. They're sieging one. Oh, they're. Uh, I really shouldn't fight on max speed. I keep doing it anyway. Oh crap! You are. You're sieging fast. Scheming Corp, my spy master has come to me with grave news. While we do not yet know who, someone is plotting to kill my courtier Carola. Okay, it's fine. No, it's not fine, but it is what it is. And is anything else being sieged? Not really, so... Oh, hello! That seems like a bad fight for you. We have the defensive and... Um, they have the dead! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> idiots. Uh, we're gonna catch them. And we're gonna slaughter them. Excellent. And who the hell are you fighting? You are the Feral Horde. Attacking Duke Hedon, Yaroslav, Master of Mongmaster, about Polonia, the Holy War of the County of Lubsk. Okay, so they want this. So, I'm gonna want to stop that, I think. I'm not gonna go fight them right away, I suppose. But it would be nice if uh, they were not to win. Ah, uh, they are. They're definitely gonna win. Oh, and you're trying again. That's not gonna work out for you, dude. Can we get any good prisoners? How's our prisoners looking? We got a Tsumiche. So, create a Gorgon. Yes. We're just gonna get a bunch of uh, Sentinels though. Or, oh, this is Scout. Is it just random? And it just has to be any Gangrel, Nosferatu or uh, Tsumiche? Because uh, it's supposed to be from certain, like, kinds of bloods make certain kinds of Gorgoyles. But we've been creating Tsumichi on Tsumichi Gargles, and we've gotten Sentinels, but this is gonna give us a Scout. 
But I'm okay with that. Just give me any kind. Are you any good? Yeah, okay. So this hops up when uh, everything just uh, gets a chance to update. And I mean, you're not great, but I love you anyway. And her name is Xena, and I like that name. So you're gonna get to keep your name. You are Xena, the warrior gargoyle, but scout. But these bastards are stealing my land that I rightfully take. So I think we're just gonna go and bop them. Finish this, regroup, go and kill these idiots. Because I want to take their capital. Because this is going to make everything much faster. And we are going to have to fight them when we, unless they win. And I don't want them to, because I want this. I, I don't think it's anything special or anything. But I still want it. Metal break. Resentment. And this is just... Yeah, this is more irritable. We're, we're just living on stress level 1. <laughs> Yeah, just, uh, just uh, cuss out Antonia, I suppose, but she loves us. And this was a lot tighter than it looked like it was going to be. But we won, so there's that. And, okay, so we killed all of those. And we, they killed a lot of my guys. Ah, oh, crap. My gargoyles! Yeah, but we were gonna have to fight them anyway, so we might as well. We're just gonna speed through the siege. There we go. Let's siege that and siege. Oh, this is all one thing. We go and siege that. See if we can win this. Ah, uh, you bastards. Oh, we're having the Hunter Uprising. I mean, sure, just whatever. This, they are gonna be able to siege that and that is fine. Oh, you... My spy master has come to me with grave news. It is my courtier, Alexandra, that is plotting against my... Oh, what the hell? Why do my ghouls keep being bastards? Okay, slow down. Oh wait, it wasn't a ghoul that was... So, let's see if we can make it there in time. Or at least make them flee. Oh, never mind. We won. Excellent. So, we're just going to enforce this right away. There we go. Can we... Oh, wait, right. We don't have to fight the Pharaohs of, of Pomerania. They... Uh... Uh, they have to fight my liege. Right, because it's a defensive war. Of course. So we lost way more of these than we needed to. Mostly because we fought the ferals of, of... Well, the feral horde. Or whatever it was called. But, more importantly... Um, we are gonna take those away, take those away. We can get a perch. Mask of a thousand faces. So we're just very safe. And do we not have fortitude? I was considering just... Although Vanish is really good. I was considering maybe switching because uh, I just wanted some of these to just get those uh, uh, scheme resistances and stuff. But Vanish is really good. Because if we can figure out that uh, someone is plotting against me, we can just stop them. <laughs> Which is excellent. But yeah, right now we are gonna create a bunch of titles. So first of all, Kingdom of Poland. Very nice. That was a loud noise. <laughs> but we are a queen. A beautiful queen. As Pontifex, you have new duties and responsibility. You are now expected to regularly hold court, solving the disputes of the realm and letting your courtiers take part in your daily routines. Luma is looking sternly at me in a direct, almost lecturing way. Perhaps there is also some surprise in her eye. She starts to unfold a beautiful banner, bearing the emblem of House Etrius. One of the ways in which the world will now judge your rule is by how you adorn and careful care for your royal court. I have taken the liberty to make uh, this 
to have this made as a gift to mark the beginning of your royal tenure. It's Etrius' house banner, and it's uh, giving us some stuff. It's not very impactful. But let's uh, take a look at our courtroom. And we know all about that. We're going to get a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of those beautiful little uh, uh, primogens. But first, we are gonna... We're gonna decorate a little bit. House Atreus flag and secret writings of Cabrius. Which is perfect for us, because we've been sitting on this stupid book for like three or four episodes. And just working on our melancholy experience. But this will boost it by 50%, which is very nice. Do we have any claims? Oh, we have a lot of claims. We can go uh, artifact hunting if we want to. Sophia's bone finger. <laughs> nice. Eh, not that interesting. Not that interesting. Nice hostile scheme, so it's pretty nice. Prestige is very nice, but that belongs to Atreus. And uh, I think we're going to ask for independence before we start trying to take his book. That's not a bad one either. I like that one. Who the heck are you? Count of Pitten. You're uh, you are a Duke of Stairmark. Okay, some some guy. Either way, we are gonna have to put on some ground rules. Oh, I love that we have a bunch of gargoyles in our court now. This is excellent. But we are we're gonna put it up so we don't have a bunch of negatives. So let's put it up there. We're making plenty of money. This will go up to like 10 as well when we get rid of our army. And I really fucked that up. <laughs> that war up. We lost so many gargoyles. I'm sad. Uh, training grounds. I don't want to lose any knights. So let's pop that over there. Servants. Doesn't have any negatives except for the one. And I don't think it's that great at higher ones either. So we're just going to pop that to two. And the lodging. I don't want the negatives. So let's just pop in over there. That's a nice baseline of our grandeur. We can increase it if we want to. But it's just 150 for now. And that is absolutely reasonable. We could pump it even more to get more prestige and knights right there. Yeah, but then we have to... Basically double this almost. So for now, we're going to be good with this. Excellent. And we're going to have to give a bunch of these away. But let's just start by creating a bunch of titles. There we go. Everyone will help hate me because I have too many duchies. But that's fine. So. I mean, we don't really... Oh, right. We have to fight the Inquisition. That's the war we can call people to. But we are going to give a bunch of duchies to people. So, what do we? which duchies do we want to hold? Um, this one is... Um, Kravia. This is six. No. Five, five, six, and six. Is it better to... To hold the ones with many. I don't know. Although, if we give away a bunch of these that we've given land to people we kind of care about, then we'll lose them as vassals. And we haven't... We took two... No, we haven't... Because these will be given away. And they are held by our granddaughter. And our son. And our son. Okay. Well, uh, first of all, we're going to give this to our sons. But we're going to give our granddaughter something, probably. Well, let's start with Polonia. Let's grant that to our favorite son. The one who actually has the right religion. Okay, you know what? That's probably easier by doing uh, that. Grand titles. You can have Polonia. Grand titles. There we go. So, this is the capital and we are going to want to hold that. I think the rest we're just going to grant to local Polish noble or noble Vlach 
culture or something. Because we're not holding this duchy. Anyone we give land to here is gonna work for our son. So we're just gonna give him some randos. And he get to do whatever he wants with that. And I think that is gonna be fine. So we're holding on to that. This can go... Oh, this is a very nice one though. But still gonna go to someone. There we go. And this we give directly to him. Like so. And these bastards are gonna keep attacking our stuff, but that's fine for now. And uh, no, we, we've given away everything we should now. Excellent. And how's our control in places? We should be good there, good there, good there. Excellent. So we're making good money. Now we just need to end this damn rebellion. And then we're gonna hold court. Although we are over time once again. Because <laughs> I keep just... I keep making these too long. Oh, that's a lot of war score. So, yes. End that. Imprisonment. You are... You got a lot of uh, things there. But... Can we not... Do we have to kill her? No, this is just fighting. Okay. She is good, though. And... Um, if we let our, our... If we let Alexander Nevsky do this, then he has even less chance to doing it. So, I'm just gonna try. See what happens. Ah, I lost the fight. We're fine, though. We can just blood heal. No problem. There we go. We're good as new. But we're going to disband everybody. Very nice. And uh, we're going to also... No, let's position our liege. Hold Mr. Knut and create cadet branch. No, go away. Okay, so we have to end this episode here because I've been going along once again. But next episode we are going to hold our first court. And uh, do something that queens do. I don't know. Anyway... Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!